Secondary schools now have a range of indicative admission scores. It's to give graduating primary six kids a better sense of where they stand when applying. And for more on this, we're joined by Associate Professor Jason Tan from the National Institute of Education. Professor, thanks for joining us. How far will the changes go in taking stress off students, which is the primary aim? Good evening. Uh, let's look at what's at stake here. We are asking parents and students to choose six schools out of 139. And what's more important to note is that the Ministry of Education is asking parents and students to make informed decisions. What do we mean by informed decisions? Well, we are asking parents and students to make decisions about the various options after considering um, the various options. But first of all, they need to have accurate and adequate information about the various options and also about the associated benefits, shortcomings and likely consequences of each of those options. Um, we have to bear in mind as well that the choice of a secondary school will have consequences for students, cognitive, moral and social development, as well as consequences probably as uh, for their post-secondary options and their subsequent career choices. So when we talk about parents and students making informed school choices, we are asking them to think carefully about the students' strengths and weaknesses, not only academic, but non-academic as well. Um, think about the student's personality, for instance, is he or she someone who can thrive in a highly competitive environment? And then we are talking about um, parents and students having adequate and accurate information about schools, uh, not only about their academic reputations, their indicative PSME score ranges, but also probably the school culture, the range of co-curricular activities that they have on offer and so on. After Professor all of this, um, there's the task of ensuring the best possible fit between each student and the school of choice. Uh, Professor Tan, how do you anticipate that this change is going to impact uh, direct school admissions, so-called so DSA admissions, uh, given that parents and students, they might just see this as a safety net? Well, I don't think it's quite accurate to characterize the direct school admission scheme as a safety net because I think in quite a number of cases, it, um, the scheme provides parents and students with an opportunity to ensure that kind of tight fit between uh, students' non-academic talents and the school of choice. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, I think, uh, and could we also see higher uh, enrollment uh, at primary schools then, which have affiliated secondary schools, given the wider scoring range? Well, this has been a perennial worry, I think, for many parents. Uh, the fact that there are some secondary schools that have affiliated primary schools, and uh, the Ministry of Education has put in place a policy that requires in secondary schools to set aside at least 20% of their secondary one places for students from non-affiliated primary schools. So probably this policy will go some way to allay the fears of parents. Professor Tan, these latest changes are all part of this long-term effort to move away from this emphasis on exam results. You know, subject-based banding was another initiative. I mean, looking ahead, do you think parents are really going to buy into this notion of holistic education? And if not, how do we change mindsets? Well, we're not going to change mindsets overnight, that's for sure. I think you have to remember that parents are themselves the product of their own school experiences. And of course, they bring these experiences to bear when it comes to making decisions about their own children's schooling. Uh, and so therefore, I think we are talking about long-term change, uh, which of course will involve the schools working closely with parents and students. 
All right, many thanks for speaking to us uh, today. Uh, we've been speaking with uh, Professor Jason Tan from the National Institute of Education.